Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do this makeup look right here. It is just kind of holiday inspired. I know a lot of us are just ready to jump into the holidays. Now that Halloween has passed, he just needs, I'm just gonna put him in my lap. <sighs> anyway, I was already feeling the holiday spirit, so I hope you guys are too. Hopefully you enjoyed this look. This lip is super, super affordable. It's three products from Shop Miss A that I am obsessed with. Uh, yeah, most everything is pretty affordable. The only thing that's not really affordable is my lashes. I tried out Glamnetic lashes for the first time today, and I am super impressed. If you guys are not into wearing regular lashes and you've always wondered about magnetic lashes, these ones are awesome, and they do have vegan styles. So I did use vegan styles on my eyes. Okay, okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Share it if you could. It does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right, let's do this. I kind of want to do like a holiday look. I know it's early, but it's November and we're all in that mood. We're all starting to watch Christmas movies. So I think I'm going to skip what I was going to do and I'll film that next week. And then we'll film this today. So I'm going to put, I was going to do a charity look. Uh, but we will do that next week. All right, so I've already done my base. I put on Conceal and Define in F2, and then I contoured a little bit with the Conceal and Define concealer in 12.5. On my under eyes, I have a mix of these two concealers. This is the new Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer, and this is the XX Revolution, I forgot but that concealer. So I mixed these two. I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy again. I've really been loving this little contour from I Heart Revolution. Mine is in Fair. The highlight is absolutely beautiful too. If you are fair like I am, this is an, a perfect little duo for an affordable price and it smells amazing. got a little bit of pink in it which I actually I usually like a little bit of pink over a lot of other tones I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up just a little bit I'm gonna use my elf how do I always forget halo glow setting powder you'd think that I would remember by now I've been using this non-stop I think my skin's already starting to get a little bit dry because this was looking so good on my skin and now it's just I'm not normally one to set my set my face so I think I'm gonna have to switch up and go back to just setting my nose for the winter which makes sense when you have dry most of my face is dry except that nose. Use this as an absolutely perfect neutral palette, especially if you like reds, if you like pinks. I have already primed my lid I used. I am now obsessed, you guys, I'm obsessed. I've used this any time I've done makeup. Even when I don't really put anything on my lid, I still put this on because it covers better than any concealer. Ultimate Eye Base from Revolution, obsessed. I think, I think I'm gonna start with this peach because I want to bring in a little extra warmth, but I don't know how orange I wanna do. Maybe I'll mix. I love mixing colors. I'm sorry. I do it all the time. These two. Yes, you can see this one and this one. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this guy right here for the brow bone. I'm just going to meet that there. I usually buff out the outer edge too. Just kind of soften it because I feel like I get a little too heavy handed on this outer corner. Okay, I'm going back into those same two colors that I put in the crease and just popping it on the outer. What? I'm just taking those same two shades that I put in the crease and I'm putting them on my lower lash line. And I'm just using that same brush to kind of bring it up. I will go back and blend that out, but it just kind of, so the color matches a little more. It's obviously gonna be packed on much heavier with a brush like this with a packer brush than with a fluffy, fluffy blender. This guy looks good, of course. Okay, I know this is very predictable, but I'm just gonna put it out here. The most pushy bean of all the beans. You are the pushiest bean. I, ooh, I like that combination a lot. Okay, I'm gonna take that same shape, lower lash line. Not get myself in the eye this time, maybe. I'm gonna take this packer brush and just pop that same shade out here. 
I'll go back in and buff it. I think we're gonna do a cut crease. I know you're shocked. So boring. So boring. But this is gonna be a simple look. You can do this look with literally any any neutral eyeshadow palette. I think that's part of the joy of it. I promise there will be more colorful looks coming soon, but this one and the next one are gonna be kind of neutral. Just a warning, if you're not in neutral looks, then just don't watch my tutorials for two weeks. But if you're down with more basic, simple, like looks you can wear pretty much any day, then you're gonna enjoy this video in the next week's tutorial, because that's a neutral palette too. So I'm just taking that same base from Revolution and I just paint it on my lid like that and I open my eye and it kind of gives me the base. And I do go slightly above that because that's exactly where my lid will hit. And if I go a little bit above that, then I know that's what is going to show when my eye is wide open. I'm just gonna use my fingertip, I think, and just really go into this one. It's literally the same color as I put on my brow bone, which was this guy right here. It just has a little bit of glitter in there, but I don't know if that's even gonna show. But I am gonna just give it a go. So I first I'm gonna tap it on with my finger. The glitter's showing a little bit, but probably only if you're like this close to my eye. So I know the lashes I'm gonna use, they have a magnetic liner which I think I'm gonna do my regular wing and then put this on top of it first I'm gonna do my black liner on the lower lash line always um, I just feel like it makes my wing and my eyes look more complete when I have something on the lower lash line just a little bit though and I'm just gonna use that brush and buff it forget how pigmented that color pop liner is though she like whoo Probably my favorite black liner, like pencil liner of all time. Just do a wing. I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black. You do a wing, no wing, whatever your heart desires. Okay, before I do my mascara, so I want to add a little bit of glitter. I am just gonna use a Stila one. I mean, do I have the Elf one around? I always like to use something more affordable if I have it. Smoky Storm. You could get any glitter. Honestly, e.l.f. has a gold one, which is what I really wanted to use was a gold one, but I can't find any of my gold glitter liners. So I'm going with this one. You're gonna try this one. I'm gonna try and use it as a liner. This could be tragic, but we're just gonna see. I'm actually gonna use this little flat brush and see how that goes. So I'm just gonna take this is Smoky Storm by Stila. Again, any glitter liner, anything of the sort. I'm gonna see if I can do this. I'm just putting some on the back of my hand. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back in and clean up my liner. I already know that ahead of time. I'm just going right on top of that liner. It's pretty subtle, but I like it. I think that, I think it'll be just a little, a little tiny pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I will clean it up. This is a really beautiful shade. It's very taupey, taupey silver. You see how it's like, it's most intense and then you just kind of pull it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna really do my mascara now and then I will come back and we will try those lashes. Oh, all right, loves. I'm a little nervous. I haven't used magnetic lashes before. I think I own a pair somewhere, but I never even tried them. Uh, but these are supposed to be like the magnetic lashes from what I've heard. So styles I got are VIP and Vixen. And again, they do have vegan ones. Not all of them are vegan though. So you want to make sure you're picking from the vegan ones. I think all the vegan ones did bit. I think all of the vegan ones have V names. I might be crazy, but I think they all have V names. Yeah, on the back of these, it does have application tips. I have, this is Vixen and VIP. So Vixen in on the top and VIP on the bottom. They're very similar in style. One is just a little more dramatic, which I think we're gonna go with the slightly more dramatic one, VIP. Also the liquid magnetic eyeliner. So I don't know if you can see, it's, it's got little tiny magnets on it. The little case has a magnetic strip on it. I thought that was part of the lash at first and I was like, girl, that does not look cute, uh, but it is separate from that. So that way you can just pop them back in there. Like that. Shake before each use, glide brush tip along the upper lash line only, making an even line thick as the lash magnets. So you just put it on and let it dry a little bit and then pop the lashes on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on top of my liner that I have on. Try not get it on my lashes. That's gonna make... I probably could have honestly done the liner and then put on my mascara, which is what I would normally do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try cutting it like they suggest just to, I mean, it says that's gonna be your 
your best way. Okay, I've got the end one. I am going to pop it out there. This little middle bean. I do need to fix my liner a little bit because I readjusted and it pulled off some of the liner that I already had on. Um, so just keep that in mind, it might happen. So cool, so cool. If you have trouble with glue, I feel like you're gonna absolutely, absolutely love these. They are pretty pricey for a pair of lashes, but you're gonna be able to use them over and over and over again. Um, wow. I can't really see what they look like on the top. They look like they're blended. They look like they're black enough. I'm. Wow. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's finish this makeup look up. I'm going to take my AOA pigment and orb per usual. Always. I am going to put it on my inner corner and my brow bone. A little up here. Oh, that's a lot. Shannon, that is not a little. That is a lot. We will blend. Don't worry. Let's do some blush in some highlight. I know you're shocked. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Ravish because why not? This is forever ride or die, perfect blush for every occasion. Not gonna say, a dollar, I know. You know what, I'm just gonna keep it simple and use the highlight from here because it's a good one. It's a good one. That stress of losing an hour of light and feeling like I need to get my filming done by a certain time, I think. I did this red lip in a Shot Masse video. It's probably been a while, uh, but it was so good. We're gonna try it again. Uh, I'm gonna use the Wonder Lip Liner in Vintage and then the Wonder Matte in Obsessed. I might put a gloss on it, I don't know yet. All right, I kind of filled it in. I basically filled it in. This diamond lip gloss on top, I think is gonna be like the cake. Look at this red, that is one coat. Wow, but I always love, I just prefer a glossy lip over a matte lip. I only wear a matte lip like usually if I'm like filming a try on or I'm gonna be out all day. If I'm just filming or you know, just any other time where I don't need to stay in place as much, uh, a gloss. This is the, I hope they still have these. This is the diamond lip gloss in Glam, $3. For all three of these and it's like the perfect holiday lip or just two if you prefer a matte but look at that how is that a dollar i don't even know and they do wear pretty well so i'm gonna go ahead and pop on this gloss too when i put on a nude i don't get this close to a mirror but if i'm putting on something with like this much color i'm like i need to be up close and personal all right, loves, that is everything for this holiday-inspired makeup look. Super impressed with those Glamnetic lashes. I already knew I liked the Revolution palette, but it really is a great one if you're into kind of warm neutrals and like pinks and stuff like that and reds. Definitely great for holiday. Uh, the, 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 this lip, I will never. I remembered loving it. Now I know why I loved it. Oh my gosh, girl. So good. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm trying to think, I don't think there was anything else really new that I tried, it was just kind of holiday inspired. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you love makeup videos and tutorials so I keep making them for you. Let me know what kind of look you wanna see next. We do have probably a very neutral, I'm thinking like maybe a smoky eye, like my go-to dark smoky eye maybe next week. And then maybe we'll do something more colorful the week after that. I'm going to try and do a makeup video a week, uh, especially because I want to do Vlogmas coming up. So I'm trying to plan everything out. If you guys have any video ideas that you would like, there's going to be, of course, this, the same, <laughs> at least one clothing haul a week and then a makeup video, a vlog or a food video. Um, we'll probably do some hair videos, some skincare videos. Let me know what you guys are thinking. If there's any certain DIYs you wanna see or anything, like that Christmas gifts gift guides something like that let me know down in the comments um I'm really excited to try and do that for you I'm probably gonna just do five days a week not seven uh probably Monday through Friday I'm gonna give it a go we're gonna see we're gonna see all right I think that's everything I love you guys so much thanks so much for watching I'll talk to you soon bye all right me I 
Oh, cool. The little case has a little magnet strip in on. Oh, I went right in the contour. Guys, I'm losing my mind today.